Hey guys, this is Josh here with Trillium Wild Edibles, and today I want to show you how to harvest wild onions from the wild in the middle of winter without using a trowel. Here you can see this huge cluster of wild onions, or what some people call onion grass. Now there are several varieties of wild onions, and there's also a lot of wild garlics. They all look alike, and they're very easy to tell apart from each other just because of their smell. Now once I remove my hand, you may be able to see how much this blends in with the grass around it. And that's just because these are very grass-like leaves, except whenever we get up close and personal, we can see that they're a tube shape instead of being flat like grass is. And if we take one of these leaves, pluck it off, we can see how it's hollow inside. And whenever we smell this, we're going to smell either an onion or a garlic smell, and that'll give us a really good idea of what we have. Now you can also find chives growing wild as well. Now wild onions do have a very distinct look to them and their coloration is much different than grass. As you can see they kind of have like this bluish green color to them instead of this dull yellow green that this grass like this behind it has. Like for example if I step back now you may be able to see the color difference between the onions there and then the grass around it. Now one of the nice things about wild onions, garlic, and chives is that the entire plant is technically edible. As far as the wild onions, like what we have here, this very soft green part of the onion is delicious. It's very reminiscent of a green onion in taste. However, it is much smaller, and they don't really require any cooking. So they're great in salads, they're great raw, they make an excellent trail nibble. They also make a really good seasoning or flavoring to put on top of meats or put in stews or gravies or on top of anything that you plan on cooking. However, the meat and potatoes, if you will, what we're really after is the bulb. So if we follow this plant down, and at the base of these, in the ground, is going to be a little bulb. Now the ground is very soft, so showing you guys one of these bulbs won't be difficult. Just kind of wiggle in with my finger here. Thankfully, our ground has thawed out enough for me to be able to do this with my bare hands. However, it is still cold as can be. There's also a difference between how uh, deep some of these bulbs are. Sometimes these bulbs are very, very deep, and sometimes they're very shallow. Alright, and then after we have loosened up our cluster, you're going to see all of it matted together very firmly. As you can see, some might break. That's okay. And whenever you get these off, or whenever you get these out of the ground, you're going to notice all kinds of little bulblets. Now actually, as I'm looking at these, this might actually be field garlic. And this will also prove the point of what I'm saying, that the garlics and the onions can look a lot alike, especially from the top this time of year. So let's kind of clean this up a little bit. Now some of these little bulblets that you see may just be the next generation coming along, like this may just be the next generation, or there may very well be some field garlic mixed in with wild onions. That is also a possibility. But this is a really good way to show you guys the variety that can be found out and about in the middle of winter. So let's just kind of peel this off. Okay, now see this here is a wild onion. We can tell because of this distinct bulb shape. There's no bulblets inside of it. There's no cloves inside of it. So here is a really, really good example of a nice cluster of wild onions. And these bulbs are really good sized and there's a lot of greens here as well. So you could get yourself a lot of flavoring or a lot of onion taste in a salad or on top of any meats or in any stews or soups that you want to cook with just this one cluster. And you can see how many bulbs there are in here. There are a lot of them. And all you'd simply have to do is just pull these out and rinse them off. And then treat them just like a green onion. Yeah, these little bulblets are going to be the next generation. Because this is, as you can see here, starting to grow. So that's really good. This, uh, this cluster was actually starting to try to grow again, and this is the perfect time of year for them to try to do this. But as you can see, these things are really easy to gather this time of year. Just loosen up a little bit of dirt, grab the entire cluster, and then just pull it straight up, and you should have good luck. Or if you want, you can use a trowel. It makes it really easy if you do use a trowel. So that's one of the really good and easy ways to gather your wild onions. So I thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. If you want to learn more about edible or medicinal plants, make sure to subscribe.